Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a super, super, super simple makeup look. And <laughs> the title is probably really crazy, but this is like an all-encompassing look that is just super, super quick and you can adapt it to so many things. So I'm going to pull my hair back and just use this little headband because I want my hair out of my way or out of my face really and I can't find any of my other headbands so that's wonderful um but yes so I'm going to tell you like if there's any steps that are kind of extra um but yeah everything is pretty simple so this is a great pool or beach look it's great if you want a really quick look for school or um, chilling out this is a really great look for if you're gonna be hanging out with like a boyfriend or a friend because it is very lightweight so it's not gonna like smudge if you're like you know cuddling or whatever um, and yeah, it's not, it's not too overdone or anything. So the first thing is optional. And I'm going to give you some options and I'm going to tell you kind of what I would use depending on what situation. So for me, I like to start off with a primer. This is just the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I just like to put this in my T-zone. Now, if I was wearing this to the pool or the beach, I would say don't even waste your time on a primer because, I mean, you're outside. What's the point in trying to stop oil? I mean, you know, you're outside and most likely your face is getting wet. Um, so, I mean, same with eye primer. I'm going to use it because I'm actually going out, but I, like, this is the look that I want. A very light, nothing crazy, just not bare-faced look. Um, but like I said, if I was going to the pool or wearing this to the beach, I would not even bother with this. I think it's a waste. I mean, you know, who cares if you're glowy and a little bit oily and shiny when you're outside? I mean, anyone is going to be, you know, men are going to be like that. So I wouldn't worry about it at all. So there are the first two steps. Now, if you're wearing this for school or whatever go ahead and use a primer do whatever you want because you know there's not going to be as many elements affecting it now I like to skip foundation if you're super um, concerned about your skin then go ahead and do a really light layer but what I like to do is just use a concealer and kind of just brighten up my skin um, you can tell right now my skin is not bad, but it's not perfect by any means. I have some spots that are trying to go away, so I have some, like, discoloration. But I don't worry about it too much. So I just take this. This is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch in Ivory. This is, like, my favorite. And I just like to use this. And, okay, I am fairly tan right now, so it does make my body... I mean, it, it does make my face quite light, <laughs> um, but I just kind of apply that on, like, my cheeks, a little bit on the chin, and then down and around the nose, just where you would have redness, but, like, my forehead and, like, here... I don't really worry about it too much. Like if I see a spot, okay, maybe I'll put like the teeniest amount, but this isn't like a perfecting look. It's just very simple. And then I just take a brush. You could use your fingers, whatever. If you have a BB cream, that would be perfect. Like one that you really like. It just really depends on your skin needs and what sort of look you're going for. Um, but it's also really quick this way. You're not fooling around with like a million different products and it looks put together I mean you're you know you look nice but it's not super done up so it looks a lot more effortless and you know you can go on the eyelids a little bit and whatever is like left on your brush or your fingers just you know use it in the places that you didn't 
used product. And if, you know, you're like, hmm, okay, well, this spot looks like it needs a little more, then go back and just use more. My nose always needs a lot of correction, and I'm just going to put some on that little spot. That little spot needs just a little bit. But everywhere else, maybe a little bit right there. I think I skipped. I don't think I got exactly right there. But everywhere else, I'm kind of just like, eh, whatever. And I just like to gently pat that in. Nothing crazy. Um, you could definitely use your fingers, like, you know, do whatever you want. Um, but I just like this because it's really lightweight and nice. But like when you, f when I feel my skin, it doesn't feel super heavy, and I like that. It's very, very simple and just looks easy and fairly natural. Um, you know, it's not going to be perfected, but that's not really what I'm going for. I don't really care too much. Okay, and then next I'm going to move to the eyes. Now, I always like to use a cream shadow just because it's super, super simple. It's very quick. You can do it really on the go, not have to, you know, worry too much about it. And if you're out and you notice that it creases, just take your little finger and just blend it right back out. So it's super easy. So I have two of these. I have um, the Maybelline Color Tattoo, Barely Branded and Creamy Beige here. So one that's more of a gold and one that's more of a taupe. I'm going to use the taupe because I want like a little bit more of a color and I'll show you what I'm going to do. This is really, really simple. Um, it just adds a little bit of definition and you can kind of go in the crease with it. Just oh so slightly and just use your fingers and I just love how it looks. Really easy. But like I said, you know, like you did something. So there's that. And then I'm going to take the lighter one. And this is totally optional. You don't even have to do this. But I like a super bright inner corner. And I like my eyes to be really brightened up. Um, and I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that. And put that in the inner corner. Okay, and then for like mascara and eyeliner and stuff, definitely if you're going to the pool or the beach, I would totally skip mascara. I wouldn't even bother with waterproof mascara because you know there have been instances when you go and you think you have waterproof mascara and it's not. And waterproof mascara sometimes, you know, it's not even really water, I mean like it, it just doesn't work well. So I would say for those instances, just curl your lashes. But you know, if you're going to class or whatever and it's not gonna be that big of a deal, go ahead, do your eyeliner, do your lashes, whatever makes you happy. Personally, what I like to do for a look like this is apply the lightest amount of mascara. This is the L'Oreal Miss Manga. But I like to apply like the tiniest amount just so you can see that I have eyelashes, but it's nothing super dramatic. I want them to be super soft and fluttery. So what I do is I apply the teeniest amount of this, and then I go in with a clean brush. This is from the They're Real. You could use a spoolie if you have that. And I just like to go through, and this just helps get any excess, but it helps comb it out. And obviously, take out the clumps, so it looks more like your natural lashes are just super black and gorgeous on their own. And like you don't have mascara on, which is awesome. You can see that it's super light, but my lashes don't even really feel like there's anything on it. And I love that about it. And then for the rest of the face, I like to use a cream blush. This is my go-to, the Becca Beach Tint Shimmer Souffle. I love this one in Watermelon Moonstone. But I also have this one in Papaya Topaz, which is more of a bronzy orange. But I love this one. It's a reddish gold, but it's super natural. And I just like to use my fingers. Use a brush if you want. But I just like to get a little bit of that. And... 
just apply that obviously to the cheeks and it's just super light and it's just gonna stay and kind of just blend into your skin like melt into your skin and when you get naturally kind of flushed in you know like the water if you're at the pool or the beach whatever it's gonna look natural and just gorgeous but it also looks natural and just effortless for any other occasion as well so then I just like to take my brush that I used for foundation and kind of just go over it to blend it out a little bit more and this is a totally optional step adding a highlight but I like to do it just because I want to look extra glowy so if I can find mine I just like to take the any highlight this is champagne pop from Becca I just take like to take some of that and apply that to the top of the cheekbone. I think especially if you're going to the pool or the beach, this is gorgeous because you can get away with a lot of glow. And it just is stunning. You can put some on your collarbone. You know, wherever you want to be glowy. Gosh, those Becca beach tints, they smell good too. I love them. And then this is where I would use some powder. Um... Again, I wouldn't worry too much about it if you're going to the pool or beach, you know. Why try to stop it? It's impossible. But other occasions, I would use it, whatever. And then for lips, I have two options. You could use the, like something like this. It's kind of like a stain. Um, this is the Bare Minerals Pop of Passion in Fruit Pop, which is like a nice reddish, um, oh wow, I just got it on my nose. How wonderful. Um, but it's kind of like a hydrating stain. Really gorgeous. But my go-to is the Tarte Energy Lip Surgeons, which is super simple. It goes on clear. It's nice and minty. And then it develops into like a very natural pink. So, just like that. So, this is the finished look. It's super basic, like I said, you know, it's nothing crazy, no crazy eyes or cheeks or lips, nothing like that. It's just super, super basic. So, yeah, I hope you all found this look to be useful. I definitely used it a lot during the summer and just think that it's it's great um, and can be used anytime, you know, with anything. And it's super quick as well. I don't know how long this video was, but... The process itself barely takes me any time, especially if you're going really quick. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Tell me what your favorite products are to achieve this sort of like simple, effortless, quick look in the comments down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.